All right, so what we're doing now is we're walking through setting up Google My Business. I'm with Dominique here today. I'm um, just letting us know who's in the, who's in the meeting. Um, so you search Google My Business and then you click get your list pro, your profile listed. So then you'll pop up like this. So what you do is you go to the top right and click Manage Now. Now if you have a Google My Business, it'll pop up. If not, it'll look like this. So what's your business name that you run? So just type, or you you can change it later. Um, you can if you have whatever name you want to put, you just put your business name. Okay. Well, I put in my 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 uh, LLC that I operate under. Yep, that would be good. Sweet. And then you just click underneath where it says create a business with this name. Okay. And then the business category, click on that. And then now you want to do like real estate, either agent or agency. So you want to think when people are searching for you on Google, if they search like real estate agent near me, that's what you want them to be able to find. So I would click real estate agent and then do next. And then, so it, you don't have to have a, like an actual address. Do you have an official office address? Uh, it's my home and I'd rather not have that. Then, then just hit no. And then next. And then right area. So you can allow or block if you want at the top. It doesn't matter. Um, so what area do you want to cover? You can even put Texas if you want. Um, you can put a county. I usually just put all of Texas. And then just click at the top. You have to type it in again and click it at the top. And at the bottom, you can uncheck Arlington because you have all of Texas. And then click Texas there. It should show all of Texas in there. So click on the Texas at the bottom again, that check. There it is. Okay. So Texas. then Texas. See, it says Southern United States, Texas. So then go to the bottom and hit next. Oh, type tech, click Texas at the bottom. Click on that check. Uh, okay. And now hit next. And then you're all in, you're in the whole state of Texas. There you go. So you do have to put a phone number in. Okay. Now your website, do you have a website for your LLC that you use? Uh, Okay, so go ahead and open your KV Core at the top and we'll grab the website. Uh, where's KV Core? Okay. In the top right, click on your name and go three down and click on the world. That's your website address. And then double click the URL at the top and just copy it. No, you need the whole, yeah, the whole thing. Copy. And then go back and paste it in there. Yeah. Control V Victor is paste. There you go. And then hit next at the bottom. Okay. Um, you can hit recommendations. I hit yes. Cause it's just, sometimes they have good recommendations and then next. Okay. So you have to put a real email, a real mailing address. Give me a second. I'm going to pause. Okay. So I just resumed the recording. We pause it for a second guys. So you didn't see his actual address. So go ahead and put your full name in there. and then mail. So what Google will do is it'll actually mail you through snail mail, a postcard it takes five to seven days, and then you'll have to come back and put the code in and then you'll be certified so they can find you on Google gotcha. and then hit continue. Okay. And you are an appraisal. So click appraisal. So you can add that and then hit next. Now, do you have, if you want to add other things you can after like commercial and stuff, um, so where it says Sunday, where it says close, click on that. And then on the left where it says opens at, if you click on that, you'll see it says 24 hours. And then go to the next day and do the same thing. If you want to say that you're opened all the time. Most realtors pick that. Yep. Excuse 
someone calling me at 3 a.m. Hey, it says you're open. So, <laughs> I turn my phone on, do not disturb at night. I'm like, nope. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, so it's good to let them message you, so accept messages. So if they message you on Google, that's fine. Okay. Now, a description here, I'm going to send it through the chat. Um, I'll send you my description. Oh, that's not my description. Let me copy my description. Yeah, why are you recording this? Just so if anyone has a question, like how to set them up in the future, uh -huh. like, you know, I can sit in the video and say, here, walk. this is a quick way to walk through it. Oh, cool. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm great with that. Okay, good. Then you can use it, of course. You get a recording, obviously, as well. So I just sent it to you through the chat. So if you copy that chat, and then paste it in there. And then you just want to tweak a couple of the things. Now you'll see that once you read it, it'll have like a lot of the same words, like I'm a San Antonio real estate agent as well as a Bernie real estate agent. I use real estate agent a lot. And I do that on purpose. So each one of those words is a keyword that Google will find you on the internet. So if someone says, I need a such and such real estate agent, using those keywords, it'll find you using those keywords. And that raises your SEO score a little bit that way. And there you go. You can, of course, delete the last line. So once you clean up your um, description, you want to make sure you sound, it sounds silly to sound wordy, but you want to write, you want to get as close to the whole 750 words as you can. So okay. once, once you have a chance, you want to expound about what you do with commercial. So, you know, yeah. then you can say at, in the commercial field, I specialize, you know, whatever, uh, helping, you know, new people buy businesses, you know, whatever you want to expand upon it. And then, you know, in farm and ranch, I work for ranchers. I help do so much track. This is my specialty. So yeah. the more you specialize, the more you talk about, the more keywords you put in there so people can find you and it raises your SEO scores. Get rid of this. I think it looks silly to say I specialize in all of those things. Well, some people do. If you do, you're all that. It's not a problem. I really all hate right. telephone, dude. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, and then just hit next at the bottom. You can come back and tweak this after, yeah. And if you have a photo, you can put that in or you can do it later. Any, if you have like a, a logo, anything like that, you can drop in there to show photos on your website, on your Google My Business page. Okay. So then you can, if not, just scroll down and hit skip for now. You can always put them in later. Um, skip here. You don't want to advertise this way. Then hit continue. Okay, so now hit get started, sure, whatever you have to. All right, so now you see where it says pending verification in the middle? When you get your postcard, you're gonna to come to the same place. You're just gonna Google search, Google My Business, and then the top right, you're gonna click Manage, and then it'll pop, it'll bring you right here automatically. And then once it says, once you get the postcard, you'll just click on Pending Verification, and it'll ask you to enter the letters in the postcard, and once you put them in, you're done. Now what you want to do here on Google My Business on the left hand side where it says post, you want to click on post. And then where it says try, uh, close out of here, what's new, you don't need that. Where it says create your first post, click on that. And at the top where it says what's new, this is an easy way to do a post. So it's not going to show up yet, but it will. So you'd add, for example, remember that link we made of all the farms in the area? So you'd add a picture of a farm and where it says, write your post, you'd say, Hey, here's a free list of all the farms in my area. And where it says, add a button, you click on that and you'd put learn more. And then for the link, you would drop in that squeeze page. Okay. And then they would be on your website. They'd find your, so your Google, my business is separate than your website. It connects to your website, but if they're saying I'm looking for a list of farms, it'll pop up on the Google, my business. They'll click it and they'll be on your Google My Business, but that also is a direct link to your website through that squeeze page. All right. So what you want to do once you're certified, you want to come in and you want to do a post every day. Okay. 
um, if you do a system, I'm, I'll text you the, the, I'll put in the chat again. I'm copying it right now. There's a system called Deliver It. I just sent it over to you and you can open that up. And what it is is for 10 bucks a month, you can create your post and have them ready to go. And they will automatically for like a month or two at a time, you can automatically, if you click on the top under, there it is pricing under pro. So eight twenty nine dollars a month. Um, so whatever, like 90, less than a hundred bucks a month. And you scroll down it automatically lets you connect to your Facebook business page, your Google, my business, everything. And you just build the post out. And once they're built, it automatically posts for you every day. And it's really inexpensive and it's a good system. You can also connect it to like either realtor.com, keeping current matters, whatever you want. And it will actually grab that post from there and automatically put it on your website for you or your business page. So it's a really good system. So that sets up your Google My Business that way. 